So we've got a big lesson for you here today. We've got Brother by Matt Corby. Now a lot of people have messaged me about this song and um, being a native of Scotland, um, I don't really know much about it. But having listened to the, the artist Matt Corby, I have to say he's an absolutely superb singer-songwriter and this is an absolutely brilliant song. It should be like big worldwide pretty much. It's an excellent, excellent tune. So I'm going to show you all how to play it. Um, first of all, I'm going to quickly tell you that it's going to be quite a long video. So we're going to have maybe, it's going to be maybe in two or three parts. So bear with me on getting these parts online. All right, but we're going to have um, everything broken down as much as possible. So we'll show you all the right hand patterns that he's doing. There's quite a few. I'm going to show you all the left hand patterns, all the chords that he's using. We'll pop some tabs up on the screen that you can follow along with the lesson. And I'll make available a PDF file of the whole song. I'll put that on my site for you guys to download and that maybe help you work along with the lesson. Alright, so let's get started. Right folks, this is our intro here, or this is the part where he does the ooze in the song. Okay, it's a pretty memorable part. So what I'll do is I'll put the tab up for you, you can see how um, this is going to go along. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing through um, a chord pattern um, on our right hand with a moving bass line. Now by a moving bass line what I mean is the lowest notes are going to be moving along against like a, a straight chord pattern that's not going to change, okay? So uh, our right hand is also going to be doing quite a bit of work, so we'll get diving into it right now, but remember use this tab here as a reference or download the PDF that I'll we'll get for you as well, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly look at where our capo is, so you can see there on my guitar it's at the second fret. And everything we're going to be doing here is going to be moving from the capo. So if I do say like 3rd fret, 5th fret, you're going to be counting from the capo. Alright, um, our tuning is standard. So we'll hear our tun tuning sounds. We've got our 6th string, our 5th string, our 4th string, our 3rd string, our 2nd string, and our 1st string. Okay, so there's a tuning there. Okay, but that'll give you an idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, so there's our tuning. Um, quickly, we'll uh, look at the first chord shape here with our, our left hand, and then we'll get moving into our, our shapes here. So we're going to be um, moving um, through our strings using numbers here. So it's six on the lowest string here, and then five, four, three, two, one. So hopefully you guys will be able to follow that. I just saved me using like letters that you might not be familiar with, like E, A, D, G, B, and E, and so on. Okay, so we're just going to number the strings today. So we're going to take our third finger on our left hand, and we're going to pop that on the fourth string at the fifth fret. Okay, remember that's from the capo. One, two, three, four, five. There, our pinky is going to go to the fifth fret as well, but it's going to be on the second string. Okay, if we play down from the fourth string, a little strum, we would get this. that's meant to sound and what we're going to do on our with our index finger on our left hand is move through some notes so the notes that we're going to be moving through is open on the sixth string also the second fret on that string and the third fret so it's zero two and three on the sixth string then it's going to be second fret on the fifth string followed by third fret on the fifth string okay and once we get to a certain point in this we're going to be walking back from that shape walking back to three and two back through the pattern that we just played okay it's going to be a bit quicker on the walk back but first of all what i'm going to get you to practice is to practice through those frets that i just gave you using the thumb so you're going to go like this i want you to do one two three four okay on every fret so we're going to do open on the six one two three four second fret on the sixth string third fret on the sixth string second fret on the fifth string third fret on the first string. Okay, now that's how our pattern's going to be moving along with the thumb. So it's always going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, and in between those thumb counts that we're going to be doing, we're going to be playing a little pattern with our right hand here. We're going to be using our third finger, our middle finger, and our index finger. Okay, so I'll show you where to put these. What we're going to do is we're going to have our third finger on the second string. It's going to be plucking the second string. Our middle finger is going to be plucking the third string. 
and our first finger, our index finger, is going to be plucking the fourth string. Okay? So the pattern that I want you to try and get under your fingers, first of all, is to do one, two with the thumb. So one, two, and then on the and of that bar, one, two, and, I want you to play the third finger on the second string. So it's one, two, and. Fret numbers would, uh, sorry, string numbers would be six, six, two. Okay? So that's one, two, and, king wise. Six, six, two. Okay? Then we're going to do six, six, two, six, three. Okay, so that's six, six, two, six, three. Once we've done that, we're going to do a six, four. Okay, so that's six and four to finish off. So this would give us six, six, two, six, three, six, four. Count wise in the bar, that would be counted as one, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and three, and four, and. Like so, so hopefully that makes sense. So one, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, and three, and four, and. Okay? Right? So that's our, our pattern for our, our right hand. And what we'll have to do is just play that exact same pattern, but we're going to be playing it along with the moving bass notes that we had, which was the open on the uh, sixth string, the second fret on the sixth string, third fret, and then the second fret on the fifth and the third fret on the fifth string. So if we played those through with that pattern, we'd get this. Okay, so up until that point, we're sorted now, okay? So we've got our left hand sorted here and our right hand sorted. All right, now when we're on this last one, we're not just gonna stop there and go back to the start. We're actually gonna just change the pattern very slightly. Now, he, he does this he does this most of the time when he plays this live, but maybe sometimes you'll see him playing it live, he'll not add this in, okay? I'm gonna add this in because it adds a little bit of nice melody and it gives me a chance to go through this main picking pattern that you use throughout the tune as well, okay? So we've got up to this point at the third fret, Okay, what we're going to do now is we're just going to change the picking pattern very slightly. We're going to be using our thumb on the fifth string and our finger here, our third finger, is going to be on the B, uh, sorry, the second string, sorry, we're calling that, at there. Okay, so that's, okay, they're going to be playing together. Okay, right, and we're going to be playing the same pattern, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and... What's going to be happening though is the third finger is going to be moving. This one's going to be moving very slightly. It's going to play the second string with the thumb together. Then the thumb's going to play on its own. Then this third finger is going to move down to the first string. Then the thumb's going to play again. Then we'll be back to middle finger on the third string. Then thumb again on the fifth string. And then the index finger on the fourth string. So if I play that through really slowly, you'll see where we've got this. Okay, so that's where we're changing. Right, so the third finger's doing a bit more work. Okay, so hopefully that makes a bit of sense. That third finger is going to be moving from the second string to the first string as well, okay? So um, timing wise, I'll play this through for you. We're going to play the first pattern and then you'll hear where the second pattern comes in as well. Remember to go back and use the tab or the PDF to try and help you follow along with this. But I'll play it up until that, that point that we've got to the now. So we've got... See, added onto that pattern, we've added we've added this pattern on to be played twice on this chord here, which is actually the the C chord of our song here. This is the main C shape he's using. All right, so we've played that twice. Now at the end of it, we're going to do a little descending walk down this bass line. So the pattern is we're going to be playing our thumb on the fifth string and our third finger on the second string, like so. That's going to be in our first beat. 
Okay, so we've played that. Then we're going to be playing the thumb, but we're going to be playing back at the second fret here on the fifth string. Then we're going to be playing third string with the middle finger, so it's. And then we're going to move our first finger to the third fret on the sixth string and use our middle finger here to play the third string again then back to the second fret of the sixth string here and then play the open third string again so this should give us this all together one two and three and four and that's timing wise one two and three and four and like so Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll play through the whole, the whole of the intro part here, the first part of the intro, and we can piece it together from there. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so you can see how that first part goes. Now the second time through, what we have to do is we have to change the ending a little bit. Alright, so our ending is going to be, we're going to play through our chords as normal here, we're going to go Okay, so you guys remember this Okay, now what we're going to be doing here is when we get to this um, C chord here, our C pattern we're going to change back to this chord which is, is going to be the pinky here on the third fret of the second string and we're going to have our index finger on the second fret of our uh, fifth string okay and what we're going to do on this pattern is we're going to play um, five and two together with the right hand then Okay, so that would be five, one, five, three. Okay, so if we played that, it would be okay. So that's together. Then five, one, five, three, five. Okay. Then we would move along to the fifth fret here. Now this 5th fret pattern that we've just moved to is actually the same shape as we were playing at the 3rd fret. Okay, so fret wise, starting from the 5th string, that was 3, 5, 0, 5, 0. We're going to have to just move that along. Okay, so we're going to be playing here, it's going to be the 5th fret with our index finger, here on the 5th string. The 7th fret with the 3rd finger, and that's on string number 4. Then it's open 3rd string. Then the pinky is going to be down here at the second string, seventh fret, and then it's open on the first string there. Now this pattern is going to be exactly the same. So the pattern we played up here was, we're going to play the exact same thing here. Okay, and we're going to play it twice as well. So we're going to do this. Once we've played that, that'll lead us into the verse. Okay? So what I'll do is I'll play through the whole of the intro now so you can hear how it all sounds together and then we'll get cracking on with the verse. <laughs> 